Hello and uh, welcome guys, today I'll show you how to play uh, Alacrity uh, Renegade on Adina. So uh, for the gear you will mostly take a mixture out of uh, Diviner and Berserker pieces. Uh, you need to reach uh, at least a 78% boon duration, uh, most people run with 80% boon duration to have a 100% uh, Alacrity uptime. Um, for the uh, Weapons, uh, you will take a uh, double sword uh, with concentration sigil and force sigil and uh, diviner hammer with uh, the same sigils. When it comes to the build, uh, you will mostly take the normal alacrity uh, renegade build, uh, which means uh, devastation with unsuspecting strike and assassin's presence and obviously dance of death. You can also take swift termination, but uh, to be honest, I have trust issues in the capabilities and the abilities of the uh, healers in our squad, uh, so I take uh, Dance of Death to outheal big damage that is get healed by them. In uh, Invocation, you take Rising Tide, uh, Incense Response and uh, Charge Mist. Uh, this skill is very good if your uh, healers are unable to keep up the might and you need to help them. And Charged Mist is very good, um, we know it all, for the extra 25 energy. In the Renegade trade line, uh, you take Ashina de Mendor, uh, all for one, for the extra protection. Even though, like, this is a very um, weird trade, you can also take other trades here, um, especially Heartpiercer. Uh, since, uh, since the new patch, the Sword Leaf Summon is not as good as it used to be. And uh, Righteous Rebel, obviously, since you are a Lecrity Renegade. So as a legend, uh, you take uh, Kala and uh, Shiro. Shiro for more damage. If your healers are unable to execute the mechanics properly, uh, you take Ventari to bubble uh, the AoE stones. Um, but usually if you have a heal firebrand, the heal firebrand should be able to block it. If they are not able to, then uh, they should maybe uh, try to play another class or uh, um, get a bit better with the game, you know, because it's not your job as a renegade to uh, use this ability. Uh, this mechanic is one of the hardest uh, to execute in the game, uh, since positioning is uh, the key, and also you need uh, precise timing and the knowledge of uh, the encounter. Uh, as you can see here, I uh, failed it, uh, since I had, first of all, the wrong position, and uh, second of all, uh, the travel time was uh, way too long, so I should have casted it way earlier. And uh, now you'll see how to execute the mechanic uh, properly. Place yourself in a way that the pillar you want to jump behind is on your uh, right side. And uh, place yourself in a diagonal line. Now uh, wait for the uh, red AoE to appear and make sure to wait until it uh, passed the pillars. Uh, that's the timing when you need to jump. If you're standing closer to the boss, you need to uh, jump earlier. If you're standing further away, you need to jump later. So if you're standing uh, close to the boss, make sure to activate it uh, before it reaches the pillars. Like slightly before, and if it's further away, just activate it later. It's a rather easy once uh, you got the proper timing. So uh, now you uh, jump behind it, and now uh, it's important to understand the mechanic of Adina's rocks. Basically, she targets uh, every player with one rock and shoots it uh, towards the player and uh, wherever the player is, the rock will follow. So if you run away from the rock, the rock will follow you with a very fast speed. Even if you port, uh, the rock will follow. And uh, here you can see that I'm uh, behind the pillar when she starts shooting the rock at me and that I'm landing there and the rock is already on its way on. Uh, like towards the pillar and then I uh, ported back and now you can see that the rock even uh, changed its trajectory uh, towards me but it already collided with the pillar and so it got destroyed and I executed the mechanic uh, properly uh, so basically you need to make sure that you are behind the pillar when the rock is hitting the pillar not before not after that is the key of this mechanic so uh, now you will uh, see some straight up gameplay as usual uh, please keep in mind that this one uh, was recorded uh, before the patch, uh, so there is still retaliation and also I executed a mechanic uh, not as flawless as I do now. Uh, enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe and also uh, make sure to try it out, it's very enjoyable and very fun uh, to play on Renegade since you don't have a lot to do anyway. Let's treat each other nice Let's spread the wealth around Not bring each other
Your best into it. <laughs> 